Hello everyone, welcome to the Rusty Traveler. Today finds us in Bagan, Myanmar, formerly Burma. Let's see what we can see. As the sun slowly rises out of the west, we are serenaded by the sounds of the birds of Bagan, as well as the gentle ringing of bells coming from temples as morning services begin. Bagan has many types of structures. Temples, usually the largest, but in some cases these are called pagodas, and stupas, which are the smaller bell-shaped um, structures that you see spread across the plain. The large temples and pagodas and small stupas scattered across such an enormous area, surrounded by tropical jungle and rolling plains. Can't help but give you a feeling of wonder as though you've arrived in Shangri-La. The Shwezagon Temple stirs to life as the sun comes up. The birds and the bells serenade the followers as they proceed to begin worship. Worship of the Buddhist religion in Bagan and Myanmar is the central focus of all life. The people are very devout Buddhists and subscribe to a particular type of Buddhism that is very austere. The combination of the incredible golden temples, clear skies, and friendly people makes a fantastic environment for photographers and videographers. All temples are designed to face north, south, east and west. On all these sides there will be entrances, with one being a main entrance. Regardless, you will come into a foyer hallway area inside the temples, where you will be affronted by giant Buddha statues. Some of them up to 25 feet tall. All of the hands of the Buddhas are in different positions. The Buddhas exist in the temples on all four sides to guide you to Nirvana. The main transportation up until recently was horse cart. Reclining Buddhas is one treasure you'll find, along with many other golden figures and statues. Some very large and all amazing. In Bagan, you'll have the opportunity to go up in a hot air balloon. The government has constructed a large watchtower to be used as a lookout point for tourists. I suggest you take this in if you can't afford the hot air balloon ride which is quite expensive. It's almost free to go in, and it's really worth it. The top of the watchtower will be accompanied by local bands, music, and drinks are served. Be there for sunset, that's the best time. Right now you'll see a lot of rebuilding happening because of the last earthquake. This is going on in many locations and in all cases, the temples will be restored. I was there a couple of years after an earthquake, so I saw the restoration taking place on many, many pagodas. In most cases, the damage was they lost their domes at the top. This temple was damaged in 1975. It's called the Andana Temple. You're required to walk barefoot through the temples. So on a 35 degree day, your feet gets pretty hot. Step on the white is my tip. Never step on anything black or dark colored or you will burn your feet. Bagan has become 
the number one archaeological site in the world, eclipsing even Angkor Wat of Cambodia. If you get a chance to come here, you will see why. Nothing can prepare you for Bagan. Thanks for coming to the Rusty Traveler and watching a video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please smash down that like button, hit subscribe, and click on that little bell for notifications so you don't miss the next one that's coming up. There will be more from Began, more from Mandalay, Burma, Cambodia, Bali, Singapore, all coming up. So subscribe so we can stay in touch. And please make a comment. I want to know what people think and I will respond to any comments. So that's it. Goodbye from Dave Federici. Have a great day.